Welcome back. We're going to be taking a look at a video at a Daytona Beach, Florida. The officer that you see here is Officer Gurichari. While the camera's on him, it appears that he's a good cop and that he respects your rights. However, when this is a public service and I encountered him on a night shift, things were a little bit different. But he also didn't know that we were there recording. Let me tell you how this call pans out. He calls out over the radio and says that there's a vehicle that is black, has a lot of objects in the back, and causing it to squat. If you didn't know this, they passed an ordinance that says that squatted trucks are illegal. But on this particular case, Gurichari over the radio does not indicate that the vehicle is committing any law violations except for having a loud exhaust. The radio traffic indicates that several officers, including possibly a canine, were en route to the scene for something that hasn't even really occurred. Let's take a listen to the radio traffic. It's black diesel, uh, blacked out windows, black rims. It's got a bunch of stuff in the back causing it to squat. It's pretty loud, so if you have the windows down, you might hear it if you accelerate. Yeah, well, look at us with Mike in the back of it, so. All right, I'm looking. Nah, he was a pretty good ways ahead of me, and I watched him do the uh, southbound turn, and I heard him uh, accelerate real hard, and as soon as I turned, he was gone. How many times do I get was occupied then? I couldn't see the windows were blacked out. All right, 12 Central, show me an area, please. 13A. 13A is a suspicious Somebody incident, house, just to let you know. It's not going to be a bailout with 10 5 with the party truck at the house. Everyone in the surrounding area is there. Anything yeah, so it's not even a, 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 a fleeing vehicle. It's not anything like that. He just saw the vehicle. It was suspicious. And they had all these officers come in here. So now we're going to watch the camera and see what actually he said when he didn't know the cameras were running. Yeah, they got a motorcycle that's down out there. Hit and run. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, they're trying to get out there. You look at that one? Okay, okay. Um, it's, it's not about being respectful. He's doing you a favor right now. You're, you're just so set on being an ass. You're being a f. Because I have enough to take her to jail for reckless driving. So keep pushing my button. Because I'll fucking hook her up and take her to jail, and I'll still tow her to jail. Right? As a matter of fact, I'm half tempted to do that right now. Seems like some of your I apologize for that great night. Admit it, you were driving, right? I'm walking out of here. Be a man. No, I wasn't. Okay. Sorry, you're my new favorite I'm, target, dude. Hey, I'm, I'm, hey. I'm, 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 you're my new night. favorite target. I'm going to get you. How you guys doing? You're my new favorite target. Huh? I said, you're my new favorite target then. Yeah. This is, uh... Oh, it's you. No. <laughs> I know you. I don't know you. Uh, yeah, you do. I'm going to pull the body camera. I'm going to pull everything I can. What? Yeah. I mean. What was your name? Gurachari. I've dealt with you. I don't deal with anybody. I speak to people. Oh, no. That's fine, man. No, he's he's driving like an idiot. Absolutely. Was that with Jeff? Was, was I out at Jeff with the. Uh... Yeah, it was Jeff. Yeah, that's right. So. Yeah, it was Jeff. No, man. He's he's just driving like a complete freaking ass. And he's, he wants to sit here and lie to your face. Yeah. You know? And I'm cutting him a break. I'm, I'm doing the right thing and cutting the guy a break. And and he wants to sit here and, and, and be a complete you know, and throw his girlfriend under the bus. Sorry. Yeah. There's a little more to the story than you understand. You probably uh, shouldn't I'm, I'm, give any I'm, more to the story to I'm the police. Sure there is. The other night, um, I've had an issue with one of the um, sheriffs, and he reported my camper stolen. And he thought that I had yeah, to Yeah, this guy was really cool with us. With and Jeff. he took it off the stolen list, but it was really stolen. Hmm. Yeah. And we found it, but we can't get it back. And then he's like, that. Dude, you know, he's got his uh, he's able to too file too for ownership yeah. because he took it off the stolen list. We still owed like $20,000 on it, okay? I don't care Did you? Well, the sheriff that came out, I called him complaining, of course, you know. Well, I guess he was a little mad at me. Um, and he. But he ended up arresting me the other night and took me somewhere else. I lost consciousness and stuff like that. So, 
That's probably why he's maybe not the as technical. Kevin, I, I'm, I've been here. I've been here a long time, dude, and I treat a lot of people with a lot of respect, and I give them a lot of leeway. You know, but I want to apologize for being rude. Yeah, that's Just all it is, man. You. That we've had problems where I understand the, the that, whole that's detective not, that's thing. It. That's it. That's it. Here's how it works, man. I, I'm cutting Just you a break. I'm cutting okay. you a huge break. All right. I know you were driving. I can't prove it. But I still have enough to take the person who was driving to jail for reckless driving. I can articulate that all day long. So you're sitting here saying your girlfriend's driving. You know, I, I don't care at this point. You're home, right? You're not going to be driving anymore. You got a bad license. Get it fixed. It's not a big deal. You got to suspend the license. Pay your tickets. Get it right. Reinstate well, your license. I paid the tickets. Just you got to reinstate I didn't your get license. The, yeah, I didn't get to the DMV because yeah. yes, sir. it's it's licensed out of Georgia. Yeah, but you're running your mouth, man, and just being quite frankly an. And I'm, I'm cutting you a break, you know, so just keep that in the back of your mind. You know, we have a lot of tools and resources that we can use to, to address situations. I just pulled, over a, kid. I just pulled over a kid not even 20 minutes ago, man, and he had a, his, his uh, license tag was expired by three months, you know, and I'm sitting there talking to him and I, you know, it's, it's a ticket. And he's like, hey, I'm, I'm having a really hard financial time, you know. So I let him go. I say, hey, I can write you a $116 ticket plus your $55 registration or whatever. That's Just not going to do, do you any favors. If you're going to do time. it, do it. So get it right, you know, and I let him go. So that's all I was saying here, man. We, you got to lift the truck. And it looks like you had a tarp on it, right? This is bike week. We have a lot of stolen motorcycles. I see it dip southbound on the Seneca, hauling it, and then just completely disappear. It's because you live right here, but I can hear your throttle all the way down the whole road. Just didn't see where you went because I made the turn light later than you. But, you know, we don't know what you got. We don't know what you're up to. We don't know what you potentially running from. So, no. I was just getting cussed out about some cigarettes, so I was trying to get rid of the house. You oh, don't even. Please you. stop. It, Please fine, stop man. making excuses. Take you responsibility. stop. Please. Who are you talking to like that? No, you have lost your mind. Your mom? Yes, I'm his mom. Yes, when I. Never but talk see, to here's the issue, man. But the, the, the respect starts at home, right? You're a grown man now, right? You're 20, 19, 20 years old. Mm -hmm. So it starts here. You know, you're not respectful of your mom. You're not going to be. And I don't command respect. I don't demand respect. You don't have to respect me. I've been called names by so many people. I don't. I don't care if you respect me or not. I don't. I'm not one of those people. I don't have a ego to fill. You know. But I wish they you could know, see us turning and looking at each other so, every time he says it. Put two feet forward, man, and do better, all right? Be respectful to your parents, you know? Well, you gotta get to your mom out of jail. That sucks. Get your truck out the impound. Yeah, I wasn't there for that. That doesn't have nothing to do with it. But, listen, today's, today's a new day, right? Two feet forward, yeah. Yeah. do better, yeah. all right? Take it easy, guys. Yeah, sounds like you got your hands full, man. What's that? I said, sounds like you got your hands full. It's, I was just, you know, like, I... My, my whole thing that I do is I have to talk to people. I was just down on Mary McLeod with Boone, mm -hmm. and I was in the middle of everybody that I don't really fit in there. Yeah. And we had some females talk to us and stuff like that. It was so nice when you're out there with Jeff and I, but, I mean, I understand you get this guy pissed off and doing that. If you were to go into the courtroom with, like, what's going on there, they're going to – they're probably going to – State attorney's going to just toss that out. You can't beat the ride, but you can beat the rap. But that's, I mean, it just sucks. I've never talked to anybody like that because, well, I, don't know. Uh, I didn't have any intention of taking action. It was more uh, just a threat. So, yeah. Not a threat. That's not the right word. I mean, but, you know, <clears throat> yeah. he's just being an idiot. He's a kid. He's being an idiot. He's driving like an asshole. You know, he's running. He bails out here. You know, it I, is what it is. I did 172 miles an hour down. Uh, the old Tomoka Highway at 19 years. No, what is it? Uh, right next to the car dealers. What's that road down there? Tomoka Farms? Yeah, Tomoka Farms. 171 miles an hour. But nobody was out there. And I was 19. I was stupid. Yeah. It was dumb. It was. I mean, we all do stupid yeah. stuff. But I mean, I can talk to you like this, or I can talk to you like, hey, f you, you piece of shit. All well, you're going to do is get how. Car. That's how our, our conversation started very civilly. And he's just running his mouth and all over the place. And, and then just. But one thing that we have to do is out here, because I don't carry when I'm out here and don't have that, is I have to de-escalate things. And and it's one of those things that you, you think to yourself, like, yeah, you know, Mar left here and it's you. 
with these three guys. Yes, you have enough rounds to take them all out if you Come wanted on. to. But, I mean, de-escalate and, I mean, people, oh, shoot, maybe I won't be fleeing from the cops. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if he was fleeing, but it looks like he... Yeah, he, he was, he saw me and he, he beat feet. So. Yeah, you might have a because he's got a suspended license. Yeah, that's all it is. I mean, I do it you too. Know. Anytime I see a cop, I'm like, I got to get out of here. But <laughs> that's the way it is. But nah, man, I was talking to him normal, and then he just wants to sit there and he he the, the, the respect is, is here at home. You know, you just heard how he was talking to his mom. So I think he's sitting there lying through his teeth and yeah, there's a lot. It sounds like just the, the five minutes I was here and what I observe out here. There's a lot of stuff that may not be in in other people's lives. They where they have a benefit. Yeah, I asked Richie if that's the biggest cock he had. I don't know if that's... <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, it's just... It, the kid's 19, and and what do you want him to do? you want to hate cops more? Do you want to... Eh, I just that? got him a break, so... Yeah, the thing is, he's throwing his freaking girlfriend under the bus, and it's clearly him doing it. So, yeah. you know, it, like I said, it, I have enough to articulate reckless driving, but I can't put the person behind the wheel, so, you know, it's it, it's more of a conversation, and to drive it to his head to stop being an idiot. Because yeah, he I'm, is being an idiot. That's a 9,500-pound truck, and he's driving through a residential area like a complete... And you, you know what's so. funny is Daytona guys, when I pull their force watch, when we talk about 9,500, uh, that one's not. These are equipped out or about maybe like 3,600 pounds or something like that. Probably not that. I, yeah, it's not, I don't know. I'm just guessing, but... Oh, that's uh, 9,500 pounds all day long. They'll throw it on a scale. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm just, but I see oh. the Daytona cops that are running with no lights and sirens on. You know what I mean? There's Which, a lot of them that drive way too fast. But we just can't be, and we can't be like that. And that's what I'm. I'm always concerned. When you said there's a target, you're my next target. I'm like, whoa, wait a second. Someone says that to me. It's like, what did I really do? Okay, I was driving without suspended license or not valid license, and now I have this cop that's going to just constantly make my life hell. Why? Because I didn't submit and give him everything that he wanted, and I denied it, and I just didn't want to answer it. That's the reason why you want to shut up when you talk to cops, but. You don't want to say anything, the, but the target's more of a make them situationally aware, I guess, if you will. Trust me, I have better things to do. You come back and talk. A kid with a you come back and talk license. to them in the morning when they're not drunk or something like that, and then nah, he's sober. I don't know if he. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. He's sober. He just has spent a license, and he's a kid. He's, you know, not making proper choices. I don't. Is there anything I'm missing? I'm just like. Yeah, I just feel like you know. We got to expect more from the officers. Like, you, you seem, I mean, it, I realize you said you were trying to teach a lesson, there, right? Yeah. But, you know, I'm not sure that that's the way that, that we need to be teaching lessons out there when your first duty is to de escalate. I, um, I, I mean, I, that's what everybody wants you to do, right? But yeah. it's, uh, yeah, you've got, really you've got people that, you know, my, my initial conversation with them was extremely rational. Yeah, we didn't Hey, how it. you doing? We pulled, Yeah, I don't know if you were here for that no. or not. It's, it's irrelevant, but, you know, we, they came out. They, who was driving the truck? Oh, my son was, you know. And um, and so I came out and just talking to the kid. And, and um, you know, he just just has, just has no integrity. You know? I'm, on my side, I'm trying to think of articulating um, – down this road here, especially when I saw the traffic, willful want and disregard for the safety of public. Was it 316-193? I can't remember the statute for it, for reckless, but I'm just trying to think of articulating that and seeing a car that dove out of the way. I, I mean, I get it, but they got roosters legit. Yeah, this house is, uh, they got like quite a bit of a mess going on. Yeah, there. they're living in the wrong part of town for all the agriculture stuff. Yeah, and it was really, it was a really good conversation with Jeff and I, and it was so nice and <clears throat> And I'm, I mean, I'm surprised at that. I get it where the 19-year-old, the 19-year-old is not going to listen if he's not listening uh, at home. It's, you know, you, you have, you, you did this job, dude. You know how it is. So. Yeah, I just never it's, did that, like what I heard. I never, ever did that. I mean, no, I, it's, you know, it is what it is. We worked with one officer, one sergeant, and myself. It was two of us. In Port Orange? No, in the other area, north of there, so. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I was just we know just God, they, the kids just disrespectful. Yeah. I am too. I, I we we got in a he, match with Martin just a minute ago because he tells me twenty two, yeah, yeah, twenty two, and I thought he was talking about arresting me for disorderly conduct. No, I wasn't there. I, I, that's I can't use that anymore. I, that I wasn't there. I'm I don't lie to people. I don't have a, a reason to lie to people. I'm just saying. No, I'm saying I wasn't. Yeah, I know. It's just that's such a that's just a typical cop response. I just I'm just saying we were in a. a match with him and it's like 
he was going after him and this and that. And I'm like, just de-escalate. I mean, I, I'm disrespectful as we can de-escalation is what everybody wants all the time, right? That's what they praise and we train on it, stuff like that. But that's that's not escalating. My actions aren't escalating to make it worse. My actions are communicating with the kid who can't get it through his head that he's a freaking idiot. Do you yeah, think so. you'll review your body camera? Do you review your body camera? Ever? Occasionally, but I have yeah, you no should issues. you should review tonight's body cam from this incident yep. and and be objective with it and and ask yourself if if that wasn't escalating. Oh, I absolutely escalated it. Okay. Well, There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Yeah, but it was, good. it was forceful communication, if you will. So yeah. talking to him reasonably wasn't getting the point across. And so you just write him a ticket then, or let him take it to court, and then you no, you don't no, take him to jail. Talk, talking to him reasonably wasn't uh, getting the point across, and clearly you saw how he talked to his mom. So yes, I you know, hear you. He's, He's, he's just an uncle head through and through. I hear it. Me too. That's what everybody says about me. I'm a cop baiter. I'm a piece of shit. No, I don't, I don't have any problems. No, I mean, that's like 90% of the cops do. <laughs> yeah, you're all good. I don't have no issues with you. All right. All right, guys. Have a good night. Yeah. He was, he was the f***ing coolest cop on that call out there. And this is what I mean, and I'm going to tell it to both our cameras here. When there's cameras involved, they're nice as shit. When there's no cameras involved, that's what they do. They treat you and talk to you like a piece of dirt. Gubachari, I think his name he said was. That was just terrible. God. I mean, I don't know. Like, yeah, he probably did everything that he said he was doing, but that's still not a reason to talk to somebody like that. Yeah, you're a fucking piece of shit, don't you? Or whatever, I don't know. remember what he said now. I'll review my camera, but, you know, I've been doing this for 17 years, and, you know, bullshit me. I'll fucking do this. I'm doing you a fucking favor and this and that. Yeah, the threat. The, the same, threat. yeah, you're my newest target. All right, we're out of here. That's Daytona Beach Police Department. This, this is a public service. Dong, dong, dong. <laughs> this is a public service. <laughs> See you soon.